Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a new beautiful geometry math problem. That is here we have given a right angle triangle where there are two sub triangles, triangle ABD and triangle ADC. Here we have given the base of this right angle triangle, this bigger triangle which is 3 plus 5 8 units and its side and perpendicular is 8 units. And there are two angles given in the sub triangles which are equal same, which are equal to beta at point a now what is our target here our target is to find out the value of x the height and the perpendicular of this right angle triangle triangle abc now how can we solve this beautiful math problem now to solve this problem first of all here we will draw a perpendicular from point d to this side ac so this figure will become now let us suppose this is point e now look to these two triangles triangle abd and triangle ADC. Here the angle at point A are same, equal and also the angles at point B and at point E are also equal and same because here the angles at point E and both sides are right angle because this is a perpendicular to this side. So this angle is also right angle at point B and this angle at point E is also right angle. But they have also the same common side, this one side. So by angle, angle side properties are triangles. Here these two triangles, triangle ABD and triangle ADE are congruent triangles. So therefore from this figure here we can write the triangle, triangle ABD and is congruent to triangle ADE. If these two triangles are congruent, so here the length of their corresponding side will be also same equal. This BD is 3 units, so this DE will be also 3 units. This will be 3 units as well. We have this perpendicular and this height is AB which is X. So this AE will be also X. So this will be also X. And this side in both the triangles is same common. Now what is our target here? Our target here is to find out this one segment, this one side of this smaller triangle EC. Now to find out this side here, this is a right angle triangle. This angle is a right angle, 90 degrees angle. So here in this right angle triangle, triangle CDE will apply the Pythagoras theorem. So by Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. So this figure will become, so by Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square is equal to hypotenuse is dc so this become dc square is equal to ce square plus ed or de square we substitute the values from the figures here or hypotenuse is 5 dc is 5 ce is not given and ed is 3 units so this will become this is 5 square C is not given plus ED is 3, so it will become 3 square. Now 5 square is simply 25. C E square plus 3 square is simply 9. Here we will take this 9 to the left hand side. So the value of C E will become C E square is equal to 25 minus 9. 25 minus 9 is simply 16. So this will become 16. So the value of C E square is 60. Here we will take square root on both sides to find out the value of C E. So the value of C E will become and square root of 16 is simply 4. So this is the value of C E. So here this line this side is 4 units. Now look to this one bigger triangle triangle A B C. Here our A B is simply X. So from here we can write our side AB is X, our side BC is 3 plus 5 which is X, this will become BC is equal to 8 and our AC or CA is X plus 4. So AC will become X plus 4. Now since here our target is to find out the value of X, the height and perpendicular of this bigger triangle, triangle ABC. So for that here in this triangle ABC, as this is a right angle triangle, here we will apply the Pythagoras theorem again. 
and we will find out the value of x. So again by Pythagoras theorem our hypotenuse square will become perpendicular square plus base square. So this figure will become by Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. Now perpendicular our hypotenuse is AC so it become AC square perpendicular is AB so become AB square plus base is BC so become BC square. We substitute the values from here so the value of AC is X plus 4 whole square AB is X so become X square plus BC is X so become A square. We simplify this one equation for the value of x. So here we will expand this using a plus b whole square identity. So this will become x square plus 4 square. 4 square is simply 16 plus 2 times x times 4. So this is become 2 times 4 is 8. So this will become a x is equal to x square plus 8 square is 8 times 8 is 64. Now there is positive x square in both sides. So we can cancel them with each other. Now this will become here this is a constant number so we will take this constant number to the right hand side so the value of 8x will become this will become 64 minus 16 so further 8x is equal to 64 minus 16 is simply 40 a we will divide both sides by 8 so this will become 8x is equal to 64 is simply 6 times a so we will divide both sides by a. This 8 and this 8 will be cancelled and this 8 and this 8 will be cancelled. So this is 6 not 4. So the final value of x will become 6 units which is our final answer and final target. So finally the perpendicular and height of this right angle triangle this bigger triangle is this is 6 units. That is our final target and final answer. And last don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step geometry solutions thanks for watching